On this episode, we'll talk about signs and symptoms of alarm after weight loss surgery. Three, two, one. Here we go! Hi, I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com and welcome to another FAQ video. And today we will be talking about signs and symptoms of alarm uh, after your gastric sleeve or let's say after uh, weight loss surgery in general. And I personally, I thought I had some done some videos on this before, but no, I personally browsed through over 700 of uh, my videos that I've done and I've never talked about this. And I want to start by saying that uh, this, of course, does not uh, replace any uh, medical advice. This is not a consultation with your doctor. Your doctor's uh, direct relationship, it is of utmost importance. You should have direct relationship, direct contact with your doctor at all times. You should be able to contact them right away at any given moment. And my patients know this. My patients have my uh, direct email comes to my phone directly. So uh, saying that uh, and not uh, justifying a, a, a consultation with your doctor, this video is just for educational purposes, signs and symptoms that you should be aware of that are uh, not normal or not expected. Okay. So after uh, weight loss surgery or, or gastric sleeve surgery, if you are running tachycardia, which means elevated heart rate. And now with um, with uh, wrist watches or smart watches, you can pretty much or easily take your heart rate. And if this is over 110 and you're not feeling well, well, you should be contacting your doctor. If you also have difficulty breathing, that is something that is not normal and you should be seeking uh, medical attention. If adding to this, if you have a uh, low urinary output, all right, not that you're dehydrated because dehydration will give you low urinary output, but if you have low urinary output together or alongside having tachycardia, which is elevated heart rate, difficulty breathing, increased abdominal pain, pain that just gets worse and worse, does not subside, nausea and vomiting that doesn't stop. I mean, those are signs that uh, we uh, are not expecting as a normal recovery and you should be uh, reaching out to your doctor. So these are very important uh, signs and symptoms. I wanted you to be aware of these. Again, I had not done uh, any video talking about this and of course uh, maybe this is just for educational purposes not that you're feeling so bad or feeling uh, have difficulty breathing and you're going to go look for you're going to be searching on YouTube uh, is this normal all right so again this is just for educational purposes this does not replace uh, medical advice directly from your doctor again a most important direct relationship with your doctor. Please have a good relationship with him. Have access to him 24-7, and that will assure an, a good outcome. Now, these signs of symptoms, it is important for you to know, these signs of symptoms are something to be on the lookout, specifically those first 21 days. After 21 days, it is very unlikely, very unlikely for you to have uh, signs and symptoms of a leak, or fever, or uh, tachycardia, or if you did not develop it before. So once your stomach has healed, once your surgery has healed, all right, this is uh, pretty much done. So we're talking about signs and symptoms to be aware and on the lookout those first 21 days. Specifically, I want to say maybe those first critical, those first 10 days. All right, I hope you found this useful. If it was useful, if you can leave me one of these, it is very um, uh I thank you. It's very helpful for, uh, to the channel and uh, very supportive. I thank you again. Don't forget to subscribe. That way we can hang out together again. I'm Dr. Oliver with endobariatric.com where we are changing lives one sleeve at a time. Take care and God bless.